Hi, we're Rain Level students at River St Thomas Academy in Lancaster in the northwest of England and we all chose to take part in the My Story project. Hi, I'm Kate Charlson. I'm in my last year at sixth form. I study maths, psychology, business and Spanish. I chose to be a story collector because I'm interested in how um, businesses run and thought it'd be good to be able to compare um, businesses from the past to the future and see how they've evolved over the past 50 years. Hi, I'm Bethany, I'm also 17 and um, I decided to do this project because I thought it would be interesting to see how life has changed in the last 60 years. Hi, I'm Leah, I'm 17 and I thought this project was a great insight into how people lived. I also found it a great opportunity for my future career as I want to be a nurse. So we interviewed Pat Lambert who um, works at the Bellevue Day Centre which is a care home for elderly people and um, she's telling us about her past work life and then also we really admire about her that she still enjoys working and she has a completely different mindset to most people nowadays as she's working past the state age of retirement. My first job was at the mill. I started the day I was 15 and when you went into the mill people thought you just went in and you did the job you know there and then. It, it, you didn't, it was actually a trade. You actually went into a training school um, where you trained for about three to four months to be able to manage the machines. Um, we used to make cotton um, uh, for people to um, spin the cotton for people to weave. Um, and then the cotton would be used for backing out oil cloth or um, dadling and things like that. So that was my job in the mills at 15. I worked in the mill till I was 19 year old and that was when the mills actually shut down. Um, they found out it was cheaper to buy the cotton from abroad than actually make it. Um, because a lot of the um, work in Manchester at that time was in the mills. There was a lot of people who came out of work. Because um, th th each job in the mill you had to be trained for, and um, once you were trained for that job that's what you would carry on doing. You couldn't be in spinning one day and go to weaving the next day because um, you know you wouldn't have been trained to do that job. Um, yeah, I used to see people, you know, take the fingers off. Um, I actually was um, nearly took my supervisor's arm off. Um, my frame had broke down, and uh, he was mending it. He was at the bottom of the frame with the doors open where all the cogs was, and because it was so noisy in the mill, you didn't really hear properly. So I, I thought he tried for me to switch the machine on, which I did, and uh, nearly took his hand off. The um, lifts that they used to have in them days weren't like the lifts we have now. The health and safety wasn't as good as what it is now. They were like shift uh, lifts, if you will, just you know pulling up on a rope. And uh, before my time, there was a young boy that fell down the shaft and actually killed himself. The cotton mill was on uh, Bath Street. Um, and it, it, leads, it, le it led on to the canal because every mill needed a canal for the cargo boats, to, uh, the barges to fetch the cotton, um, the raw cotton up. Um, later on in years it was fetched by a road, uh, but all the mills were built next to canals so that they had the transport to transport the cotton. Uh, you could, uh, well, the minimum age was as soon as you left school, 15. Um, you would be in, as I say, the training school for three to six months, depending on how long it took to train you. Um, and then you'd go um, actually work in what they call bonus, um, where you, had, you got paid a, a standard wage, but you had to make your money up by making bonuses. Um, yes, we did. Once we started making the bonuses, um, we got the same pay. Yeah. Uh, my, my first wage was £3.05 and p when I started at the mill. Um, that job. Most people would do because the, the cotton mills was like a family and um, you know we, you, you had the older end there and you had, you had the young ones leaving school and starting and you become like a family. All the young ones would go out together at the night floor or all pier or dance halls 
and and, and so yeah, you tend to just stay there. You get married, you'd have uh, time off to have your baby, and then go back. You always knew that you could go back, um, you know, after your baby. So yeah, the anti shut down probably would have still been there today. Um, maximum age then for a lady was 60 and for a man it was 65 and then you did have to retire. Not like now where they, they up the age. Yeah. No, 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 it was equal. You could say it was equal um, men and women. The women tend to be in the spinning rooms and the spooling rooms and the men tend to be in the robing rooms and the weaving rooms. Um, although you did have women weavers as well as men, but um, no, it was equal, yeah. Um, yeah, over the years um, I've suffered with my hearing. When you're working in the mills you don't actually realise it because everybody that works in the mill actually learns to look read because you can't hear cut the noise anyhow. It's only when you finish the mills that you realise um, that you realise that your, your hearing has been affected. Yeah, I enjoyed working there and it learnt me to grow up. Um, you'd have the older people, the older uh, people that worked there, that, you know, if, if you didn't do your job right or you give a cheek or what have you, they'd just give you a cuff round here all and, and that'd be it. And everybody in there was your mother. You answered to all of them as your mother, really. And um, it did learn your values. Everybody that worked in the cotton mills were relatively um, poor. Um, but you was all the same, so, you know, there was no, um, like, you know, you've got more than me, everybody was same, you know, and you, you was one big family, yeah. No, I didn't find it hard to get another job. Um, I think for uh, females it was easier because it was shop work, where for the boys there weren't the apprentices and things, so I think it was harder for then but no I found it quite easy actually to get a job and I was there for three years and I enjoyed it um, and from the mill shutting down I actually went to work at Lawson's toy shop uh, which call, was called the Rocking Horse shop on New Street and um, I was there about three years and then when I was um, 21, 22 I actually came to work mm. at um, Bournemouth View, which is this place, which is now Bellevue.